I made a mistake. Wait, what? What? However, comma. Hey y'all, Tom ND3N here with another Ham Shack chat. This time it's a story of serendipity. You see, on my Shack computer, I have multiple headphones and headsets that I use for my videos. Most of these are plugged into a multi USB switch. And while preparing a video, I accidentally deselected my audio codex from my FT991A. Now, you got to realize I made this mistake late at night. So instead of going through a well thought out troubleshooting routine, I panicked and I did a full reset on my rig and I took it a step further. I deleted my 991A drivers and reloaded them from the ASU site. From here, I went into WSJTX and tried to run FT8, but my push to talk wouldn't work. Well, at this point, I gave it up for a bad job and ended up going to bed. Now, the next morning I got up, having had time to think out the problem further and made some changes to my WSJTX settings, which brought my system back up and working. Curiously, I set up my push to talk the same way that my TS-890 was set up. So I started scratching my head. From the initial mistake of forgetting to turn off that stupid little button switch to my headsets, and then going into a panic induced troubleshooting mode, three very positive things came out, hence serendipity. First, I was able to identify a potential problem with the Yesu drivers, not with the drivers themselves, but with the way we use them. Second, I got the updated drivers that corrected a lot of problems I've been hearing about with Windows 11 and how it interfaces with the digital modes. And finally, I got the idea to put together this video. That's my Mia culpa. And here's the rest of the video. I hope you enjoy it and find some use in it. Not me, notch, notch. I'm gonna start off where my troubles started off. If you go to the yesu.com website, go to products, select HF transceivers and amplifiers, then go over to the FT-991A, and uh, let me take a break here before we go there. I noticed uh, that all of these rigs, when I looked up, did the same thing going to the files, that all of them had a recent update, which occurred somewhere around May of 2022, and they all have similar names. So I believe, uh, I'm speculating here, but I believe that all of these, if you do have done an update to this new file that I'm going to show you in just a second, that uh, you're going to have to do the same thing. I can't verify any of these other rigs because all of these other rigs are rigs that I do not own, at least not yet. So I can't actually go in and verify it. If somebody owns one of these other rigs and wants to give it a try and see if it works, uh, please let me know down in the comments. But here we are, we're going to scroll down under the files tab to the amateur radio software. And you'll see that I have an FT991A USB driver, virtual COM port driver for Windows 11 and 10. That was the version that was released around May of 2022. And just to show you what I'm talking about there, let me just pick randomly pick one of these. I'm, I'm going to go with the DX10 and go to files and scroll down and you'll see that the driver is FTDX10 instead of the 991A USB driver virtual COM port driver Windows 11. I'm going to start off looking at Ham Radio Deluxe and we're going to go to our Digital Master DM780 and we're going to go to our options. We're going to select options and once our options open up 
we're going to pick push to talk. This is the setup that you want to use for the old drivers. And this is probably what I said to set it up in my HRD videos. You select your serial COM port. This is your standard COM port. And what you want to do if you're using the new drivers, you want to select this one, which is uh, use Ham Radio Deluxe and you're going to use the radio connection to actually toggle your push to talk. In WXJTX, you want to go to your file and select your radio tab and the old drivers used this push to talk method, which was your standard COM port and select RTS and then use RTS for your push to talk. In the new one, you want to select the cat. And what that's going to do, that's going to come over here. It's going to look at five. It, it's just going to take everything off of five and use the cat controls. So that, that's for your new one. For JS8 call, you want again to go to your file and select settings. Go to your radio tab. The old version, use your standard COM port, select RTS. For the newer version, you select CAT. And again, it will just look at your FT991A and will uh, go that route. And let me just verify this there. And yes, my push to talk is engaging the radio. We're going to look at two things in Winlink Express. Uh, first is the RDOP. Opening up the RDOP session and going to radio setup, you'll note that I really don't have anything set up here because everything is going to be done down here. So I'm just going to close this. I'm going to open up my RDOP and go to the optional radio settings. You'll see that radio model is an FT991A. My radio control panel is a COM5 and my push to talk is set to COM6 and RTS. We do not want to use that. Uh, that's the old drivers. So for the new drivers we come down here and I'm going to go cat push to talk and that will do it. So I'm going to save that to my INI file and let's just make sure this works. I'm just going to start a connection and I am uh, triggering my rig. Now we're going to open another session but this time we're going to select our VARA HF WinLink. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to come up here to our settings and go to radio setup and uh, this is where all the problems start. So we're going to just put down uh, FT991A. Uh, the COM5 is good. The COM5 is my enhanced and uh, this is the way you want that set up and we'll just double check it. and it is keying my rig. So on our VARAC, VAR AC, we want to come here to our rig control and VAR uh, setup and for the old drivers you want to uh, have this selected. Uh, my CAC control is here with my enhanced driver So that's all you want to do. For the new driver, you want to change this to CAT. Make sure that this is pulled up using an FT991A. And you can check your push to talk. And that is working. And that is off. And save and exit. And you're ready to run Vara. I hope you notice that the changes are basically the same changes throughout all the different modes that I showed you. And all I really had to do was just show you 
where those changes took place. From my dumb error. Meaningless brain part, you know. I found out a lot about the Yesu drivers and hope that my experiences will help you with your digital operations. I'd also encourage you that when you are troubleshooting a problem, panic is not your friend and it is always better to step away, have an adult beverage, and give yourself time to think about the problem before jumping in headfirst and making your problem worse. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like. I quite like that. I quite like that. By popping that thumbs up icon. Let me know if this was helpful and if you use another Yesu rig, if my suspicions about the Windows 11 drivers work for you. And do that down in the comments. Yes, you. Questions, comments? Please share. It's really heavy, Becky. Thanks for sharing this content with your fellow Yesu enthusiast. And finally, please consider subscribing. I love the pictures. How do I subscribe? 73 until the next Hey Y'all. I'm always at your service, and this has been a Ham Shack Chat. I'm Tom, ND3N, and I am out.